Hey guys, and welcome back. In our last episode, we got the tiny Bronco away from Rocket Town and also got Sid into our party. Uh, he is now along for the ride. We also sort of pissed off Rufus a little bit by stealing the tiny Bronco. We also beat the crap out of Palmer and learned a little bit about the Shinra space program. And now we have arrived on the banks of Wutai. And I'm going to go ahead and do something real quick. Uh, I would like... You should probably take screenshots of your materia here. And the reason why I'm saying this is that way you know what to where they are. Unless you're absolutely like positively sure about uh which uh which places they go and I won't ruin it yet and you'll figure out why, but we'll see what's going to happen. Almost looks like she's standing on his head. Alrighty. You notice everyone's health is a little bit screwed up, and nobody has any materia. I still need to set her limit break, don't I? I have forgotten to do that for so long. So now that we don't have any materia, Now we have to go chase her down to get it all back. And I hope to God I have enough high potions. <laughs> Before I forget again, jeez, what a noob, right? I mean, how dare I forget for like three hours to set this? Ah, oh, what a long run with no materia. Enemies aren't too difficult. I mean, they're easily taken down using just physical attacks, but it is pretty damn annoying. Alrighty, there we go. Jeez. 
should be one more bridge to cross right around here. And now we should be coming up to the to the base of Butai, the actual town. Oh, this is a good situation. Alrighty, there's Wutai, as we can tell. This one actually is sort of a traditional Japanese-Chinese <clears throat> uh, town, which is kind of weird in this instance. There actually is a lot of history between this town. Apparently they waged war once. And the weapon shop, which won't sell you anything. Go ahead and save our game real quick here. Nice big house. <clears throat> ah. Now, this area does have a few secrets in it, such as this. And that's a weapon for UV. And you can see this one. That's a weapon for Red 13. So he did know who Yuffie was.
Hmm. A little dysfunction in this family, I sense. Let's go see if we can find Yuffie. And of course she's gone. <clears throat> so while we're in this nice gentleman's house, we can go ahead and take a quick break here. continue the pursuit. So I can't get to that chest right now with her standing in front of it. So let's try seeing somewhere else. Is up with his hand. So, the Turks aren't interested in finding us right now. Now that I can get into this chest. Now I have to chase down the brat that is Yuffie. Believe it or not, when I played this again on my Vita, I couldn't remember where the heck she was. So apparently something else is going on with the Turks. We'll find out what in a little while.
lever on the left. Okay. So which one should I pull? Left or right? Left or right? Left or right? I'll go ahead and pull the left one. Now, just to prove to you that it doesn't much matter. Both levers do the same thing. And now we have to go pursue Yuffie yet again to figure out where the heck she went. Wow, it's like Strobe Kitty. <laughs> the cat's broken. What the heck? What the heck is this? It's a glitch. Uh huh. Strobe Kitty. Actually, I think I might be able to buy weapons now. Let's see. What I really need is an item shop. Do you have items? No, I still can't buy weapons. Let's go check out the item shop. If I can remember where it is. I think it's actually in this building right here. There we go. Okay, probably going to need some of these. and get five of the five of each of these, excuse me. And I should be at full health and full mana. Or full in magic points, MP. Which I am. So that pagoda in the back, that really big one, the one with the molten floors back there, that actually does have a purpose later in the game. We will come back here and figure out what it is later. Probably in disc three. So here is the Don Corneo, who has captured both Alana and Yuffie. Before I go any further, let's go ahead and sort these out. Well, this room looks familiar. They did not like Cloud, did they? Man, they're still going after him. figure out where the heck they ran off to. Thank you. 
Alright, so we're looking for the most obvious place. And truth be told, we've already been to everywhere except it. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead and save just in case something were to happen. We are expecting a boss fight up in the very near future. And now there's this gigantic wall with faces and carvings all in it. That would probably be obvious. Yuffie and Vincent have this. Sid. Now, there is a way to clear this fire. And we'll figure out what that is later in the game. That's a different time. Matter of fact, that's a different disc. I go further. Let's go ahead and toss myself a few high potions here. Get everyone's health back up.
Alrighty. New boss. Let's go and kick this off with Vincent going to Death Gagas. Provided he doesn't instantly die. What? This is going to restore all of his health right back. Alright, let's go find those items I bought for this fight. There they are. Oh, that doesn't do much. Here's the bad. Yeah! Look at that. Kaboom. Well, that's the end of him. So that's the same material we found earlier. And that would be the end of Utai. Now, real quick, we're not quite done here. We're done with the story for the most part here. 
now I should be able to buy weapons. So as you can see, some pretty good upgrades here. We'll go ahead and grab some. And now all of this is messed up. So... This is why we took a screenshot of it earlier. Now then. Let's start with Cloud. Now we have to put all of these back. Alright. So let's go ahead and arrange it. Now then. Okay, now then. Everything else is up to me as I see fit. As long as we get the enemy skills out. Actually, I'll put the enemy skill over here. Let's go ahead and get in the all. Where's my restore? I know she had a heal. Go ahead and give her the added effect transform, even though I know Vincent had it. give her... Why not? We'll give her Titan. Now. For this guy. Let's go ahead and give him an elemental fire weapon. We'll give him an elemental or a uh, MP absorb paired with... You know, why not? We'll give him a revive. That fire's coming along nicely, so we'll go ahead and equip that. Alright. Now I need to finish off. I've already got a transform, so there's no point in leveling up another one. I've already got a fire. We'll give him his ice and lightning. And we'll give him an elemental. His elementals never hurt. As a matter of fact... Uh, never, never mind. And there we go. So, Yuffie was apparently the one blocking us from buying anything. Now that we're not, even still, we're not quite done yet. There's one last thing to do here. There's an enemy skill right on the beach. We're looking for a giant turtle. In fact, I'll come over here where we have more beach. Come on. Looking for a giant turtle. And that would be him. And I forgot to equip a manipulate. That's what I'm missing. Oh man, that sucks. You know, and I forgot to check to see if they had armor. Thousand hit. I like it. Let's go ahead and put our manipulate on. Matter of fact, it's probably a wise idea to put manipulate on a character that doesn't have it. 
That way when I attack the character, it doesn't lose the manipulation. Alright, let's find another turtle. <laughs> I believe what we're learning here is Magic Hammer. Can't quite remember, honestly. So we got another Magic Giant Turtle. Ah, good deal. Alrighty, minute. First try. Uh, Death Force, is it? One. Make sure that's on cloud. Alright, and now that this guy's dead, guys, this will probably conclude the episode. I will go back to Butai if you all want to hang around and check to see if there's any armor actually in the store. Because that's probably something I need right now. Glad we got some more powerful weapons. You know, that was quite a boost from 40 to 51 on Cloud. Let's see, do you have any? Nope, we have no armor, so that's okay. But alright guys, so this will conclude our episode. In the next episode, we'll be searching for the Temple of the Ancients, where we'll be taking Yuffie along, so it probably wouldn't hurt if I bought Yuffie a weapon real quick. Or not Yuffie, but we'll be taking Eris along, excuse me. So it wouldn't be a bad thing at all if I bought Eris a weapon just in the meantime. Seeing as how she only has 16 attacks. 16 to 51 that's a that's a boost but all right guys and this will conclude our episode stay with me next time where we will be going to the temple of the ancients and learning about the black materia and reuniting with sephiroth again but all right guys until next time i am black magic signing off